Most of you know what Pythagoras theorem is. It's a very classical geometry theorem. And uh, the central claim of the theorem is this, that if you have a right angle triangle with side lengths, let's say, uh, let's use different letters, x, y, and z, then x square plus y square equal to z square. It's really a very old uh, theorem. It dates about 1000 years back uh, to Pythagoras. It's somehow named after Pythagoras for some historical reason, I believe. And uh, one particular case in interest is the one where these numbers x, y, z are integers. So x, y, z integers uh, makes an interesting case. So one example of integers which satisfy this equation is 3, 4, 5. This is a very well-known example because 3 square plus 4 square equal to 5 square or so on. But today we are not interested in this Pythagoras theorem in particular. We are interested in this one. a square plus b square equal to 3c square. Uh, so we are interested to know whether there are any integer solutions to this equation. Now before we go into the number theoretic treatment of this problem, uh, let's quickly look into the geometry of it. Uh, why don't you divide by c square all along? So a square by c square plus b square by c square equals to 3. Uh, so this is basically a by b, so let me write it here little space a by c whole square plus b by c whole square equals to uh, let's write this as square root of 3 whole square so if we have a circle with a square root of 3 radius so if the radius of the circle is square root of 3 then this particular point a by c comma b by c will be a point on this circle so, in some sense, we can call this point rational point. So, P is called a rational point. Why? Because both of its coordinates are rational numbers. So, in one way, investigating rational points on the circumference of the circle there might be one, there might be two, there might be infinitely many of them. Investigating uh, rational points on the circumference of this circle of square root of 3 radius is same as investigating triplets, integers, which satisfy this equation. So in the following video, we will talk about a number theoretic way to investigate the integer solutions of this equation. You can look into the description for the link to the discussion page. Thank you.